Let's talk about props for your personal brand photo shoot. I have lots of ideas and examples to share, so this video will totally prepare you for that upcoming shoot. Let's get started. I'm Phil Palin, a brand strategist. Welcome to my channel where I share practical advice to build your brand. Today I'm in Istanbul, Turkey, and we're talking about personal brand photography, a necessary ingredient for a great online brand. The best brand photography captures your essence and shows us who you are without even needing to meet you in real life. And to me, the best photography has one secret ingredient, and that is props. So let's go a step further. The best brand photography shows us who you are, and a personal brand recreates the in-person experience, and there's no better way to do it than with gorgeous photos. And props? Well, those are a powerful way to communicate who you are in a single photo. And don't worry, I'm about to give you a whole bunch of examples. When it comes to building a personal brand, photography is a non-negotiable. So if you're branding yourself, listen up. Even a quick browse of my projects on my website, they show the importance of photography in combination with good branding. Good photography helps us remember you. I'll link to that projects gallery below and I'm gonna highlight a few of them right now as it relates to props. What are props? They're objects you have hold, wear, and use, and they create atmosphere in your photos. Props give you, the subject, something to do with your hands. Props take us, the viewer, into an environment with you. And props paint a picture of what you're like in person, and they also show us what's important to you. Props are often an afterthought, but not anymore, not after you're watching this video. Instead, a single prop can be a game changer for communicating your brand. I say that a prop is so much more than a coffee cup at your photo shoot, okay? Now for some client examples to further convey the power of props in action. The first example I wanna show you, my client Rick Lindbergh. His photo shoot embodies the power of simple props. A quick visit to a Stockholm coffee shop and a notebook, pen, latte, and a pastry, very Swedish, might I add, this conveys a visual mood. The scene really paints an image of thoughtfulness and productivity. We can imagine what it's like to share a table with Rick. Rick's brand is reserved and I've got a polar opposite example coming up next. One of my favorite instances of props in personal brand photography features Dean Banowitz, the Hollywood hair guy, who uses hair rollers and mannequin heads. These objects add up to a bright playfulness, which captures Dean to a T. Now for another example, my client Judy Stakey recreated her morning routine, reading the print LA Times with a bowl of blueberries for her recent photo shoot. I love how this series turned out. A printed newspaper might not be something you'd think of as a good prop, but remember, your props don't have to be beautiful. The warning quality of the newspaper captures the intimacy of Judy's calm morning routine which sets the tone for her day and work. Let's switch gears now and I'll share a different kind of example. In developing her personal brand, mommy blogger Jillian Forte poses for this picture-perfect moment of chaos, an overflowing bag in one hand, bottle and phone in the other, all while laughing it off. Any mothers seeing this photo will totally relate. The abundance of props capture a day in the life of mommyhood in a very relatable way. How about another client example? My client Rachel Begun is a nutritionist, but you won't see apples used here. Too cliche, props should be used to tell a story. Rachel isn't gonna tell you to drink a green juice. It's not her thing. This is the kind of nutritionist I wanna work with, one who enjoys the odd cookie and latte, just like Rachel. By the way, props are especially important in photos where your face is not visible. They help convey a person's values and perspective. If this topic and discussion interests you, I recommend checking out my podcast, Brand Therapy, the episode specifically where we dig into this. I'll link to it below if you're interested in having a listen. And I've got two more examples to share and then some tips to wrap this all up. The next example is my client Chandrash Bardwaj, a spiritual healer. This photo demonstrates the power of a single accessory. A gift from his guru, Chandrash proudly wears the same bright orange bracelet in person daily. So we captured it in photos connecting his digital footprint and his real life presence. And now for my last example, one from a few years ago, but I still love it 
just as much now as I did when we snapped it. Christy Miller is a coach for coaches and food has a double usage in these personal brand photos. Not only is food fuel, but it's used as a fake microphone, which encompasses Christy's fun approach to healthy lifestyle choices. And these images give us a peek into her process and I am so here for it. Now let's turn the spotlight on your personal brand photo shoot. When it comes to props, I've developed some recommendations and handy tools to help you plan properly, starting with my free shot list template. This handy PDF is gonna make your life so much easier. You're gonna totally win that personal brand and photo shoot in pre-production. So use this life-saving template to prepare for that shoot. Linked below in the description, it's completely free. You're welcome. Next tool, the notes app on your phone or something equally simple. Really keep things simple. Give yourself a few days to note items that might lend well to your photos. I often recommend that clients take note of all objects that they touch on any given day. This will help you think of things that you might forget or take for granted. Next, consider your brand. What does your brand look like? We're not trying to be matchy-matchy here, of course, but give some thought to your visual brand. You can choose some similar tones to your brand colors in clothing or objects, like this example of my client, Kate Payne, an executive coach. In this case, the photos coexist beautifully with her bright yellow accent color, but seriously, don't overthink this. Sometimes the best branding instances happen from colors that aren't necessarily on brand for you, like the bouquet on screen. My next tip for you, pack your props in a suitcase. The most underrated object at your photo shoot is not even being photographed, and that is a suitcase to hold all of your objects, or as we call it, a shoot case. Pack everything you need in it and wheel it to the shoot. Some of the best brand photos we've ever taken had a wide variety of props and it's part of what makes those photos so great. Okay, my last tip, and this is an important one, share props with your photographer. Don't forget to share your props with your photographer. They are the hired creative, so let them decide what objects get used in the photos. Since your photographer is behind the camera, defer to their vision of what objects work and which ones don't. Of course, if there's a particular object of importance to you that you'd like to have in your photos, tell them. Otherwise, trust the process that's why you've hired them. So there you go, my thoughts on props, examples, and tools. Now I wanna hear from you. What unexpected prop would you bring to a photo shoot? Let me know in the comments below. If you've got any lingering questions, comment below. We can keep the conversation going on down there and I respond to those personally. And if you enjoy this video, give it a like. That helps other people discover these videos, which we work very hard to create for you. And subscribe for more of my videos on branding, positioning, building, and promoting your brand. Next, I'm sharing through a few other videos that I think you'll be interested in, giving you tips for your brand photography. I've got two videos packed with lots of tangible tips. I'm Phil Powell, thanks for watching, and those videos are coming up next. Thank you.